Howdy, partners. Rattlesnake Tom is going to be back in a minute. He's just using the restroom. So, we've seen some poker already, if you can call it that. A couple of good plays, I think. Uh, Terps has been lucky with the cards. Duncan has been lucky and unlucky with the cards. So, he's playing what he told me was tight aggressive, which is a good strategy, I think, especially in this game. But, against mean batters, he could also widen his range a little bit, because we've seen that she's been calling down with pretty weak cards. So, let's go to the table and see what's happening. Pocket nines for Duncan here. He's put 2k in the middle with his nines. Richard Shinnan's folds. Creepy Uncle Muscles is thinking about calling this with the Queen-10 offsuit. Batters is out. 9-9 nine, nine against Queen-10. This could be interesting. These hand, these hands, Both these hands are a little bit connected. Pair of nine, uh, trip nines to, um, to Duncan, or a set of nines, I should say. And an up and down straight draw to Creepy Uncle Muscles. There's a nine and there's a jack. I, am I a genius, Tom, or what? You're a precog. This is all in from Duncan, call from Muscles, and let's hope Duncan's hand holds up. Cool. <laughs> Oh shit, it just got a lot better. It's a four. Okay, that's perfect. Duncan needs to go all in here. That's the only move he all has. All in. Yep, it's a huge pot. All in with his set of nines. Now, can Creepy Uncle call this? Duncan's going all in. 2,500. Are we allowed to play music at the table, is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just came out of nowhere. Okay. I fold. Wow, he folded, okay. Don't show him, Duncan, don't show him. Oh. Oh, he's got you with your own thing, the set of nines. Set of nines. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis awareness Brindley. Wow. At this point, I would go all in in the dark. Just put them all in right now. You You've got to pick your moment, though. You can't really. No, no, no. She cannot afford to pick a moment. She has to go all in now. I don't want to help you. I feel bad for you now. I feel like half of this is yours. Why is he still talking? Oh, <laughs> nice. He threw it back. Oh, half of my money was yours. <laughs> yeah, she she shaded him earlier with that. And... Oh, I feel bad taking all your money, Lewis. No, and he's like, just... oh puts it back, and you know, he who laughs last, laughs hardest. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, Radders is the button now. So she does have a couple more hands where she doesn't have to put any money in the middle, but I hope she realizes at some point that her stack is, her stack is so small I don't have to be <laughs> that she has to put her chips in with pretty much any two cards. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh my God, look at it. Sweet shot. Are you supposed to have it open while you do that? Well, how else am I meant and to get also, the liquid in? Please be careful. <laughs> it's okay. If you spot I that just put the lid on, there we go. It. Now it's Holy fine. Holy shit. Lewis is like me, he sees an accident happening. Oh. I played so many board games and stuff with people, drinks on tables. Oh. Bam. There are, there are three things I hate to see when I'm playing a board game. People that bang the table all the time and move the pieces. Yep. People that roll the dice like they're fucking trying to kill something. Oh. And people that have their massive drink and they're like sloshing it around and they put it on the board. Oh. It's like, do you, do you have no care or concern yeah. for the board and the pieces and the other players? You, when you roll the dice, you have to roll them forever and then go, kick ya! Like that. Kabow! You're not playing craps in Vegas. You just roll the fucking dice. I played D&D &D with a guy one time and he was, he was quite a big lad, to be fair to him. And he would be sitting on the sofa. We'd all be sitting on the sofas and he had a little box that he'd roll the dice in. He'd go, 18. And no one else can see the dice. And the DM eventually was like, could you roll the dice like on the table? He goes, oh, I don't have to lean down every time. It's, uh, you know. Just rolling the dice. But we never knew if his rolls were honest or not. And my mate was too polite to say, roll the fucking dice so we can see. Holy it. shit. Only the DM gets to hide his dice rolls. No, no, I'm gonna fold. I ain't got nothing. There you go. Really? Well done, Duncan. You got yourself. I got some 300. Money. What did you have Chips. back here? I would love to be in one of these games, you know, Tom. Do you reckon, do you reckon you oh, I'd love win? it. Do you reckon you could beat them? Uh, yeah, I think I could. Obviously, it's tricky when they call you down really light. You can't bluff them at all, but your range is so big of cards that you can play because you know that they'll call you down with junk. So even if you've got middle pair, you know you're probably going to get a call from bottom pair. Value betting is very big in this. There's a lot of people who just call bets on the river if they've got any part of it. I mean, we saw yesterday someone called it all in with nothing. Yeah. You call with nothing? Like, what do you beat? Nobody's really got anything, but I know Terps is going to want to see a flop with 7-8. Shin should get out of the way. He's got nothing. Skinny P folds. Reasonably happy Duncan might make a bet here. I think he folded. I think Shin's folded. Oh, uh, Duncan's trying to steal it with 2k. Very nice. Shin folds. Muscles can't really call. I can't. He's I can't. He's getting He's me out. He's bleeding you. Badass has 510. She folds. There you go. Duncan won the pot without having to show any cards. Mwah! I hope Duncan wins. Badass is basically all in no matter what two cards she gets. 4-5. 
You have no option here, Radders. I know it sucks. Another pocket pair. Oh, Duncan with a pocket pair as well. It's, it's only eight, so he should be able to get away with it. But he wants to see a flop. You fucking better play this game, you son of a... Oh, shit. You son I, of a... Um, um, oh, that's just a straight up yeah. call, is it? Yeah, cool. Uh, I will raise to... 2000. So Duncan called, Terps has raised it to 2000. Radders is banging it all in with 4 5. Absolutely. That's a very small side pot. 600. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny Pete should get out of the way here. I think Lewis likes hands like this though. Yeah, but in a, it's a tricky pot to, to get involved in with Jack 9. He's called, and this is a call. So this is a really interesting hand. Radders is probably the least likely to win it, but even if she does win, she's got so few chips left that even if she triples up, she's still gonna have like a big blind. So it's pretty desperate stuff for her. Side pot is actually 2700, that's not bad. It's pretty good, that puts you above uh, Shin. Yep. Ace, seven, deuce, two hearts. Ooh. Lewis is loving this. The ace is scary. It's likely someone has one. Lewis is actually gonna go all in with his uh, flush draw. 9,200. 9,200. Duncan gets out of the way. Creepy Uncle Muscles might take him for a ride here if he doesn't put him on an ace. You know what? I don't, I don't want to. I don't Lewis. have a choice, do I? I just the see this is, through just... to the end. You're in it, man. Do you have an ace? Oh. <laughs> you can tell me. I won't tell anyone else. What have you got? Flush draw? I got two tens. You're behind. So I'm behind. So I got two tens. <laughs> so. Terp thinks he's reading him. Did you see Lewis said to him, do you have a flush draw? Like, he's telling him what he's got. Usually he not, seems a little bit shaky. Away, but... I don't know, he seems shaky. <laughs> he seems shaky. I'm going to have to... Terp oh, showed his shoot. tenth. The Jamie Gold. The Will Kasuf. Lewis wins the side pot, though. But now, the little mini side pot between him and Radders. Oh, so he's what? got a flush draw on the draw. So he's actually winning at the moment. Radders only has 5-4. A 3 gives her a gut shot straight. She wants a 4 or 5 or a 3 or she's oot. She was on 11k at one point, Tom, you know? Then she played every single hand yeah. and just stayed in. And it felt like almost every round she had a pair of threes on the table. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. There's the three. Oh. That makes a straight for Radders. Straight. So he needs a heart. King of hearts. King of hearts, I reckon. Heart. Bam! No! Oh, oh, I'm three of a kind, motherfuckers. I still would lost. have lost. Yeah. He actually would not have lost. He would have beaten Lewis. So he would have taken the main pot if he'd called Lewis's all in. Oh. But he still would have lost a little side pot. So Radders gets 2,700. Lewis gets 18. 1,400 and is actually now the chip leader. Wow. I've won one hand this whole time. One hand. Yeah, Shin's not had the best of it. 79 suited for Terps. He'll love that. Ace Jack for Shin. Seven deuce for Radders. She should get out of the way. She's actually crept back up to 4,400 chips. Duncan has nothing. Shin has the best cards. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, shit. This is what I'm talking about. Oh. Look at that, all over the card reader. Oh. I'm livid, Tom, I'm livid! God, this is why you don't put drinks on the table! So a friend of mine, he had a really nice kind of like gaming uh, table for role-playing set up in okay. his basement, where you had kind of like the main table, but there was like this little like, maybe a few inches down, like a shelf for drinks. around the bottom that you had the drinks on. So even if you like really wanged your drink, there's no way that it could ever spill onto the table. It might, it might go on the floor, Yeah, yeah. but I'd rather a drink on the floor than Absolutely. You know, all over the dungeons of Kalaroth. <laughs> oh, or... Did people still put drinks on the table anyway? No, like generally, like we played with like a pretty good group, a good good um, crew, yeah. Although uh, we did used to like you know smoke smoke down there and having ashtrays on the table that was allowed. Okay. We, that was fine because it's, it's well, it's ash adds to a dungeon. You know, you can imagine exactly. piles of ash. Exactly, Skelacroll's lair filled with the ash of you know the <laughs> fallen gods. So this Amazing. was a board game or just a like a? It was us deep... playing like Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, okay. Um, Skelacroll. 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 Okay, so it looks like they managed to clean it up. They got the blue roll. Uh, Radders now has been relegated to keeping her drink on the floor. Let's see if the card reader still works. It'd be a blessed miracle. It oh. does! Amazing! We're back in the game. I mean, it's, I mean, Richard Shinnens has min-raised it somehow to eight with 800. Shin hasn't raised pre-flop very often. Skinny Pete has re-raised him. This is a bad move. So I, I think I am going to be all in with this one. Okay. okay. Essentially going out here. 
So, <laughs> so Shin re raises all in. It's, I, I mean, love it. If you've got a good hand, Shin. The confidence to lose. Go for it. If you haven't got a good hand, fold it. I've got a fucking great hand, bitch. You're going to get smoked. I'm all oh, in. Oh, shit. Here we go. On your back, boys. Lewis has ace six, six suited. Interesting. Mm. Good. Meanwhile, good the Slavic in the corner has jack. a jack of hearts and, they and an ace. Ooh. So. Clubs, clubs are Lewis's friend, sixes are Lewis's friend. There are sixes out there, there are three sixes out there and there's only two clubs. Three, deuce, eight. Right, the club dream is over. He needs a four, five for the split pot or a six to win it. Just say four. Oh, oh, oh shit. Five, five. But if it's a five of diamonds, Shin makes a flush. Oh. So there's only three fives out there that he can hit for the split or a six to win it. If I go out on this, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> good. <laughs> you got oh, happy. Shit. I'm good. A six that isn't a diamond. Three. Oh. Oh. It's a three. No change. No change. Wins. Shin wins. Shin wins that one. Jack Hine. Radders actually would have won that with the pair of deuces. <laughs> See, that's why you always play 7-2, Tom. <laughs> So Muscles has always been at the top. Like he does this in a lot of games. He, he just did gets dip down, ahead. but then he, yes, he always builds it back up. Lewis is out, I guess. Twelve hundred to call. Radders folds. Skinny Pete folds. Reasonably happy Duncan. He might. He might play this. Jack ten isn't bad. Again, Jack nine is, a, is, is quite a lot in there. So that is two pair for Duncan. However, um, I'll put in two thousand. A pair for Richard Shinnens. This could be disaster for Shin. Oh, he's he's gonna go all in. Oh, all right, I see it. He's just calling. Like he can't just call. Four thousand. Raise to four. The pot is so big. Go on in. Squatting time. <laughs> <laughs> so raise to four thousand. Oh God, Shin's trying to steal it. Four thousand, so yeah. I'm there. Yeah. And now Shin is. You're gonna I'm go, I'm gonna go all in. Is all in. Oh my God, this game is hotting up, Tom. This is great for Duncan. So here's the interesting thing. If a queen comes down, Terps has a better two pair than Duncan. Yeah. Okay, obviously if another six comes down, he makes trip sixes. But here's where it gets interesting. If the queen comes down, that gives Richard Shinnens an up and down straight draw. And we go to the river with Duncan needing, if, if a queen comes, with Duncan needing another jack or another 10, with creepy uncle Mossels needing another queen or another six, and with Shin looking for a king or an eight. This could be interesting. It's a seven. Um, okay. Check. So now 2,000 like a... into like a 15k pot. Duncan should bang this all in. He's just going to call. He's trying to milk Terps out everything he's got. What if an eight comes? Is that a gut shot? Yeah, for, Shin, for Shin can now make the uh, the eight as well. Oh, it's a brick. Two. It's an absolute brick. A check from Duncan. Is he going to get another bet out of Terps here? What have you got? Ooh, good hand. No, chips. Oh, don't make me go all in. I think you have to. <laughs> oh, come on, Duncan. If you fold this, I'm going to actually lose my shit. 2,500. Son of a bitch. Uh, 1,000. Just go all in! Two, three. Two. Look, Terps is like, the grin has slowly sunk into this worried <laughs> face <laughs> as Duncan has just put the chips down. All right, he's gone all in, thank God. No, it's, it's, no. it's 2,400. No. So, so, just 400. Wow, Terps really picked a bad time to try this. To do a bluff. This is a massive I'm hoping pot. you've got something good. Because I got a pair of sixes. <laughs> Jack 10. Oh, Jack 10. he has got a two pair. <laughs> Shin oh, is out. Shin is dead. Jack. Oh. Nine. Oh, unlucky. Oh. Unlucky. Duncan no, takes no it. Way. Goodbye, Shin. Well I, I'm glad Duncan milked him, but I feel like once he got a big bet out of Terps on the on the flop, he then thought, I'll check and see if I can get him to bet again. But the moment Terps does, I feel at that point, pull the trigger. Like, re-raise him. Don't get greedy. Because then if a, if a queen comes on the end, suddenly he's worried. And he was worried, a little worried anyway. Like these little bets, it's a 15k pot, you bet in 2,000. I think the moment the, the turn comes down, Duncan should go all in. As it is, he got lucky and Terps didn't outdraw him, but he should have put him to the test right there. It's a big enough pot. So Shin is our first Exeter. He is out. He tried, he tried so hard. And got so far, but in the end, Tom? He still went out. Doesn't really matter. Played bad poker. Hey. Duncan has been playing very tight. I don't think you guys have realized he's been playing very tight. No, 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 I, I did know going okay. in, but still. Muscles is stacked now. 4,000? Oh, He's almost as low as Radders! 
Jeez. And look how quiet Terps is now. He's a, def a broken man. Yeah, they ruined him. Who's That's your favorite of these four then? Duncan. Not just because of his chips, like he's actually been playing the most consistent poker. He is. And he's been practicing on pokerists. Yeah, he's he's yeah. actually he's actually <laughs> he's actually going to get paid off for his hands somehow. Even he's been playing tight, people are not noticing. And going in, and like you said, people are just going in too heavy with nothing. Against a tight player, it's bad. So Radish should absolutely go all in here. If she's going to play seven eight, she shouldn't do. She's going to go all in because that's her best chance to double up. And Duncan will probably call her. So she's paying half her stack to see a flop with 7-8. And he's hit the queen. She has runner-runner possibilities, but it's super thin. Check. Put her all in. Yeah, come on, Duncan. 2,300. 3,000. That's your all that's in. me all in, isn't it? Yeah. She's all in. Oh my god. Can I stay for this one? Yeah. Oh, we've queen, got a queen. Queens. We've got a pair of queens. We've got clubs, though. Uh, <sighs> oh, 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 runner, runner, eight or seven. You need some help here. Yeah. She needs a miracle. Oh, but an, an eight or a seven gets two pairs. Oh, yeah. Drawing pre thing. So she needs five, six, runner, runner, or clubs. Oh. That's it. What like it's, it's over. It's over. She's out. Holy shit. I'll, I'll make room for her. Okay. It's all, it's all happening now. They're all wow. coming crashing down. Holy Duncan, shit. champion, probably on the way to, to heads up with either Lewis or, Dun or, or Terps. I would say probably probably Lewis at this point. I'd but like yeah. to see the, the heads up between Lewis and Duncan. I'd like to see that. Old Yogscast chums battling it out. It's typically a relationship in videos where Duncan will be not dominant? Submissive. Submissive. Yeah. Right. So will he let Lewis bully him in poker? I don't think so. He's come in with a game plan and he's stuck to it. I've been impressed with Duncan's play, so he's doing well. He's just sat and played it fucking cool this he whole has. time. Anyway, Shin, best of luck next time. I well believe done. I believe you're playing in the final in a few weeks' time. Yes, that's true. Okay, so we look forward to seeing you then. I look forward to seeing your face when I make the horrible plays. Just the, we'd be trying to read you. But. I know, that's why I'm trying not to give too much away. But yeah, yeah. Oh my good God, Tom. Give me Ooh. a war. Give me a heads up. Ah, we got a spillage. We've got a, a the little volcano. Radish came in and now our, our Prosecco is overflowing. Oh, the spills. You brought the spills into this room as well. So prepare yourself. For a scalding of my life? That could have been better. Are you gonna, so how? I'm gonna how? give you three pointers for next time. Okay, all right. Look at how many chips you have mm -hmm. and look at what the blinds are. Right. So when the pot before any action takes place, is already like 1,200, mm -hmm. and you have like 2,000. You have two moves. Either all in all or in don't. or fold. Right. When you're on the big blind, and you're having to put almost all of your chips in the middle, yeah. you should just be all in no matter what. If it helps okay. you to get to that decision, when you look at the amount you've got and how big the blinds are, you can just go all in. I'm, I'm just all in, without right. even looking at your cards. Also, if you're calling and you've got Jack 3, and you're like, yeah, I like Jacks and I like threes. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay half my chip stack to see the flop, and then you miss. Yeah. You're like, uh, you fucked oh. Fucked up. Yeah. So here's one thing you can do, is rather than wait to see if your cards improve, mm -hmm. put the decision on the other person. So okay. if you're gonna play Jack-3, which I do not recommend, <laughs> at the very least, if you go all in, you've given yourself two ways to win. The right. first way to win is you miracle flop Jack-Jack-3, right? Mm -hmm. The second way is that they fold pre-flop and they go, oh, I don't want to call an all-in, and they fold. Yeah. So then you win the chips in the middle, which, I mean, look at Creepy Uncle Muscles here, right? Yeah. That's half his, that's his stack is in the middle. 2,400 in the pot and he has 2,300 chips. If he wins this pot, he doubles up. Yeah. He's going all in. Ace 10, 10. Ace, right. Ooh. So only has high card ace. We could be heads up in one minute. If an ace or a 10 comes, big trouble for Terps. Ooh, there's a nine. There's a nine. So an eight now would actually give Duncan a straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. So he can hit an ace, he can hit a... No, the 10 is now no good. Because the 10 now gives Terps a straight. Ah, nice. It's a five. Bam. So he doubles up. Yeah. So, how much poker have you played before? This was my first game. <clears throat> oh, okay. Like, this is my first public game. Right. All right, well, fair enough then. It's, e <laughs> it's easy to make those mistakes. I thought you'd played a bit, because he's told me I've been, yeah, I've been training. Yeah, I did, like, online poker shit and stuff, yeah. but it's it's always different in person. I guess it is. But yeah, I can I can learn. Okay, good. I'm learn. sure you can. I've played board games with you and you were very competent, so I know there's a tactical brain lurking there, but there's just- it's There's, just, it's there's just 10 layers of shit above it. Of non-poker shit <laughs> that needs to be cleared out. Yeah. You should just talk to Perfect. Duncan and find out how he got better, because he's, from the first time he played to now, he's improved immeasurably. Yeah. Did you have, did you have fun though? Oh yeah, I had loads of fun. Good. 
fucking Good. great. We had fun, if you can call it that. <laughs> we haven't really had any massive collisions. There have been, there've been a few, but we haven't had like too many people getting horribly outdrawn and stuff. Yeah. Skinny yeah. Pete's going to go all in and Duncan's going to call in with Ace-10 again. Oh. Creepy Uncle Muscles is out of the way. All in. Pete's all in. I think Duncan will call this. It's only a couple of thousand more. I, I'll, I'll, I'll meet him, whatever it is. I will meet him, yeah. whatever it is. Spoken like a true poker player. Eights against ace-10. It's a classic race, Tom. A pair against overcards. It's around, it's a, the, the pair is slightly ahead by like one or two percent. So this is a real coin flip. And Duncan can afford to lose this. Pete cannot. Oh, I want to double up here. I need these eights to hold. Needs the pair to hold. Ace is good. The Chinese consider them as lucky as the number seven. Really? Eight, eight is the Chinese equivalent to seven in the West. So they'll play eights, a lot of these guys, like as oh, if they're aces. Oh, ace oh, ace oh, in the window. Oh, my God. Oh, Lewis is ten. dead. Doesn't make, a difference. doesn't make a difference. The moment the ace came down, the 10 is, it, it doesn't matter. Skinny Pete already needs an eight and only an eight to save him. Here it comes. Let's the see music it. is building. Let's Drama see that. is happening. Let's see that eight come down it's to the table. It's a five. Table. Don't take off your mic. You've got don't one more card. Yet. Here comes the drama. Here comes the drama. Oh, eight on the river to make this something special. Otherwise, Lewis is Do out. Do a calf, come on. Oh. Fuck, you know. It's the oh, jack. Okay. He's, he's out. Okay, well, thank you for joining us. Thank we'll you, Radis. We need to make room for the, the other lesson. losers as they come in one by one. Thank oh, you for the lessons. This... I hope to do pook, 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 pook again to, um, sometime whenever yes. you do the next tournament. Absolutely. Ben. Talk to Duncan and find out how he got so much better. He will tell you. And also use this app. It actually helps Shin and Duncan. Download Pokerus now. Good job. Nice plug. Good, good plug. Seamless. <laughs> okay. Seamless. See you soon, right. Radis. I'll see you guys later. What happened? You lose the coin flip. You lose. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Duncan had enough money to do multiple coin flips. But you, I mean, you, you were happy to get it all in with the pocket pair. I was you delighted. Know, glad for the call. Just got outdrawn. But uh, the game as a whole, do you feel you did okay? Yeah. I feel like I played fine. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of loose calls, I'd say, pre-flop. You guys seem to like to see things with things like. King eight, I, I, jack I, five. I yeah. see people, any suited cards, people will pay quite a lot to see a flop. A pair of nines for Duncan. I mean, unfortunately, he's not going to get a call out of Terps. And basically, the pot is now like, Terps has one move, which is all in. That's it. He can't ever call pre-flop. He can't call a bet. He's all in or folding. Fold. He's waiting for some kind of hand. So we're going to see a, a bunch of this. But Terps is going to quickly suck up those blinds if he can... He, he will, but the problem he's got is it's very hard for him to force Duncan to fold because he can only double the pot. Like, it's literally, he's got, he hasn't got enough chips to really scare Duncan, but Duncan needs to make sure that he doesn't let Terps get away with it because Duncan can just put Terps all in, and if he gets unlucky and Terps calls him with a hand, first of all, he can still beat him, and second of all, he can still afford to lose and be the chip leader. See, Terps wins a pot, he starts mugging for the camera and flexing and everything yeah, like that. Whereas he's been so subdued. He has, because he lost all those chips. Oh, okay. I think Ace he is four. probably all in again here. I would be. Ace Queen! Oh, he's, in oh, he's crushed! Oh, oh. He's fucked, crushed! Duncan's fucked him. I think this is the end. 3,000. 4,000. Yeah. All in, buddy. All right, cool. Uh, cool. This is a disaster for Terps. This is this is this is what happened to Radis, wasn't it? No, no, who, she who was. She to? what happened to Radis is she she never folded. That was what happened to Radis. She played every single hand. Oh, there is. Oh, he's oh. now he's out. I'm gonna clear the way. He's, he's not. Gonna be he's in not. A, a five will give a straight to Terps or running fours. It's not gonna happen. Old old reasonably happy's got it locked down. He hasn't got it locked down, Lewis. A five you or watch. running fours. Here comes a five. It's an eight, that changes nothing. A five and only a five now. He needs a five. Just, Just a, five. a five. Just a five. He's shitting his pants like I was, like I needed that eight. If, ter if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Terps. Oh, oh close. It close. It's a seven. So Duncan wins. Thanks, oh, Duncan. Did well played. He did it. You can have those. Thank They're you. yours now. I just want to point out how fucking just like Duncan has not changed pose or posture this entire game. This is the first time he's like even smiled. Just. He's just sat there and just played and has been a fucking statue. He's done very well. Everyone else has moved around a lot, but... I don't know if I'll make it to the final now. Oh, my God. Oh, tune in in two weeks' time to find out. <laughs> Thanks to Pokerist. If you want to support the Yogscast being supported by Pokerist, check out pokerist.com slash Yogscast. Me playing Pokerist. That has helped. From from last time to this time, all that Straight changed up. was I played a lot of Pokerist. There you go. Yeah. And I gave you a load of chips as well. Uh, but we will see how it goes in the final uh, two weeks from now. Ben, do you, who do you, who's your money on? My money? Oh. oh. I, I really think 
This, this is the long shot, what I think. I want Kaf to swoop in it. You, you, why would you want that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Terps? Yes. A little unlucky at the end there. Your ace ran into a better ace. Yes, a much better ace. But uh, how do you think you played overall? I played okay. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, threw, I threw chips at Duncan. Um, I wasn't match fixing. There's going to be allegations of that. It's not. You know, I don't look at it and think, oh, who would be easier to beat in the final, Radders or Duncan? Duncan. Uh, and try and throw chips at him. Okay. I don't do that. Um, but we will see. <laughs> the, the only problem I'd have is that you didn't seem to notice that Duncan was playing. He was the tightest player at the table by a country mile, and you still kept paying him off when he had cuts. That's the only I did, I know. big complaint and like I'd have. I said, have. not match fixing. It's all I can really no, just. I just, well, I just well. That's why I hang my hat on. Never match uh, we, we didn't even mention the words match and good. fixing at all. Fantastic. Was, uh, yeah, we had not even Fantastic. considered. But now you've that's raised good. it. No, that's what I'm saying. That's I'm in the jury's mind. To get in front of people there, and say... Don't worry, there will be know. a formal investigation <laughs> yeah. into match fixing. I've heard doping might have been happening. There yeah. was a lot of doping. Yeah, there was, there was actually a lot, a lot of, of doping. doping. What were those supplements you were there taking? There was a lot. It was uh, mainly uh, creatine and cocaine didn't in a work. special blend. It worked for me. It worked for me. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. I'll go get Duncan. Thank okay. you guys. Before, oh, before you go, yeah. yep. are you able to give us one last visit to the gun show? Because oh. we were We've loving it. We've been loving them. Holy yeah. shit. They love it. <laughs> So oh, yeah. next time, go. also me and Pyrian are going to go to the gym. I like and we're going to be fucking <laughs> we're gonna ripped be huge. for the in, final. In two weeks. We're going to be so that's big. Good. What did you think of that game? Hmm. That's that's my that's my. Mm. Mm. Okay. It it's was interesting. interesting. I like I like the fact that Duncan won. Yeah. I think he deserved it. He seemed it, it to be, does, to be playing the best poker. Yeah, yeah. He said he was going to play tight aggressive, and I think he definitely did that. It, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he played good hands. When he did, he seemed to get paid off, and he had a couple of nice... At the end there, it's always nice when you have a nice run of cards in the yeah, crucial yeah, stages a, of a, a tournament. Yeah, that was a good final. Because he was card dead for a long time. Fold yeah, it, fold yeah, it, fold it. Yeah. Right to the end. Up, That's so what you want. Right at the end there, you start getting a little run of cards. It always comes along in a streak, and he got him paid off, and he won the yeah. tournament. If, if that five came down... I would, I would have lost it. Yeah, it's of course. Of outs. So should we should we get Duncan in here and talk to our winner? I think I think uh, it's time. Okay. Yeah. Ben, he's just having his victory. Of uh, course, dinner you're, you're going to deal so. the final, aren't you? I will. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, as well cool. In so couple we'll, of weeks. we'll see you back for the final. Yeah. So yeah. let's see if Duncan can yeah. pop in here cool. for a winner's interview. Cheers, Ben. When you spoke to me before the game, mm -hmm. and I said to you, "What's your plan and how are you doing?" You said, "I'm going to play tight aggressive," and I thought, "A, I'm glad Duncan even knows what tight aggressive means." Ooh, Thank you. you. Thank because you. a lot of players at the table don't. Yeah. And wouldn't understand about different play styles. I liked the way you played. You were conservative with garbage cards. You got value out of your good hands. And you had a nice little streak of decent cards at the end there in the clutch yeah, point of the good. tournament. But it wasn't like you just had aces and kings. You still had to outplay people. Very impressed and a deserved victory. Probably the most comprehensive victory I've seen so far. Except for maybe with calves. Lucky streak. There was a, yeah, but that's luck. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying I think you can win if you play that way again. I, okay. I, I said to Tom, you're my favorite to win the whole thing. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, like you're definitely the most improved and most competent player. Lewis did not like us saying that you were the best player at the table. Really? He did not. Just you. It's all the poker. I've just been playing the poker stand for, like, yeah, for like been, two weeks. We've been saying this and it's not yeah. even a joke. Yeah, yeah. we're not actually, even just really saying helps. it. You actually have, so that's great. I'm glad it helped. It was a good game. I was actually pleased. It was uh, some good play there from Duncan. Yeah, like, yeah. Very pleased. Some technical, yeah, we're just super didn't impressed. Didn't get angry once, Thank I'm not you. even kidding. You were the, the least angry making, <laughs> least infuriating by far. We will see you guys in a couple of weeks for the grand final. The Duncan grand will final. Be I'm in it! Duncan I'm will so be there. I'm so glad I made it to the final. Yep. I was just, all I had to do was be like, get up after Radders. What are you going to dress up as? Well, I think we got to wear what we won wearing. Oh. So you're going to be wearing so this? So I'll be wearing this again, okay, I guess. Okay, well, yeah. there we go. That's oh, that's quite a relaxed chill. Yeah, nice. so, but Lewis would dress as a cow. He will that's indeed. Amazing. <laughs> and Terps, I think, might have to wear a tuxedo, but we'll figure it right. out. Right. Yeah, best <laughs> of luck to you in the final, Duncan. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks for watching. See you Boom. in a couple of weeks. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye.